Hello and welcome, it's Jilly. I'm in Queensland, Australia. I am uh, using up some paints that have been sitting around because I've not done much painting for the last couple of weeks with one thing and another. So as you see, this paint has got a few goobies in it, which um, it will work fine and I will uh, pick out with my um, tweezers. So I'll get rid of that and we'll push on with it but just wanted to uh, use this time to do something different and to try some things so you just come in along for the ride with me so let's see how it all goes i don't think i've done a full orange background before but um i'm not sure i'll have a think about it but anyway we'll see how this one goes I want you to know we can make it together. Let the wind blow. All we need is each other. Come take my hand. So for a different effect, it's just ribboning that white through it and giving it a gentle tilt. It even gives it such a nice look, I find, on its own like that. Of course, I'll push on and see how um, we go with the next stage. Just a wet chain pull, dip in the chain in the cool blue, and let's see how this goes. Give a little bit of your heart to me. All the scars start to heal when I'm with you, and I can't explain how I feel when I'm with you. Just give a little bit of your heart, give a little bit of your heart to me. Not that nice the one looks more like a cactus than, than anything botanical so I'll completely change it now and um, try it with just the balloon and I'm gonna just keep pushing on trying the different techniques until I get something that I really like but this is really very nice because the balloon is just bringing up those colors in a in more more of a botanical look i guess so this is quite nice and it's very um, nice and calming to actually do how many smiles does it take to be happy how many times do you have to feel lonely before you get the chance to meet someone before you get to meet someone like you songs can you write about heartbreak how to go on when you're fed up with mistakes maybe i just found the answers maybe i just found the answers in you pretty it is quite nice but i'm definitely not you know over the moon with that so i'm going to push on again so this is what you can do when you're exploring um different techniques and just exploring what you can actually do on canvas so i will get some more paint and 
pouring puddles and see um, what I create from here on. I did a lot of bad things and never did I give in just cause the thought of being vulnerable made me feel less than I am I have never felt whole till you entered goodness I'm going all out here and um, using up some paints I've had left there that uh, paint in there look it's gone it's turned quite jelly so I probably not a good idea adding any more of that it needs to be emptied out washed out start again but here you go I will just add some heat and then use that baby dryer to do a basically a chaos blow and see how it all turns out. OMG, I really have created a wild storm in there and completely changed the look of it. So now I'm going to bring in my uh, lifesaver balloon in the shape of a balloon and see if I can make something pretty out of this absolute chaos. But it, it's very pretty up close. It has lots of weird and wonderful cells, so I'm sure it's going to be fine. Well, 
that was a complete train wreck oh my goodness trying to use up paints that I'd had sitting there plus some that I'd pre-mixed the colors blown out are actually quite beautiful and shocked that they didn't go too muddy I've got some really wild and wonderful cells in there um, I just <laughs> I was just trying things and I was just gonna uh, do this particular video just on my own, not filming, just trying some few things that I had in mind, but um, they weren't working out as you see, and I just pushed on. I quite like this now, and I think it's going to dry beautifully, and it would absolutely look gorgeous with a coat of resin on. Uh, somebody would like it as a gift, I'm absolutely sure. So, Sorry about this crazy video that I just pushed on and, you know, had to go. But I want to show you guys that just keep working with it. Um, yes, that's my little puppy that we did name Meg. Having a cry, she wants to get out with the other dogs. Um, but anyway, I, I'm quite happy with that. But you remember your art room, your rules, your way. And if it's giving you any kind of joy whatsoever then it's all worthwhile definitely is art therapy i'm just going to go back and show you these are two very old paintings that i did in previous i have got the pores there then i embellished i think i resined one coat over the original and then i embellished with that kind of you know snowy forest look um, and then I've now just given them another coat of resin so it kind of looks like a 3D effect which I don't know what do you think and then this other one I'd done that turned out quite dark so I put a tree in it and now I've resined it and my sister who's been staying here over from England for six weeks she's going to take those two home with her because they're small enough to fit in a case but they'll be nice uh, resin coated so she only has to give them a wipe over but yeah so what there, there's definitely the video is up on those both but it would have probably been well in excess of a year ago but she just pulled them out and liked them so um, there you go that's just another thing I've been working on okay my lovelies thank you so much for joining me and I will be back again tomorrow Bye for now.